I stand here today on behalf of all workers of Edo State to welcome you all to 2023 Workers' Day celebration. I promise not to bore you with speech today. I will therefore read from a short version a speech in your arms. We have stated very expressly at page 14 to 15 of our program in your arms. Our workers' appreciation to government of for one, 40,000 minimum wage to our workers. Two, your recent approval of year 2022 promotion for workers. Three, the increment of service age, service years and retirement age of adult state teachers. Three, your increase to 200 million naira monthly release for payment of gratuity to our state workers, pensioners, your excellency. Last year, you give workers something new to go home with from this stadium. This has been the transition in the past. And not until last year, workers never had any reason to check on Workers' Day. It is with present pain in my heart that I welcome you all to this year 2023 Workers' Day. Today, ceremony reminds the workers across the globe of the sacrifice made by our fathers in the struggle, who were murdered in the hill market square and elsewhere around the world while others were in prison for their struggle. In as much as we commemorate the death of our hero past, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1, says to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. On this note, today is our celebration day. Comrades, we must celebrate our fellow workers in the state. I welcome you to this auspicious occasion being the 2023 Workers' Day celebration. Firstly, I will want to thank God Almighty for keeping us alive to see the weak and weakness this year's celebration. It is not by our power, but by His grace and mercy. Secondly, I will want to thank the executive members of the NLC and TUC for their steadfastness and commitment in managing the affairs of the Congress amidst challenges. The diligence and wisdom exercised in the management of various descended groups on varied industrial issues over time is highly commendable. If they were not up and doing in handling industrial crisis, the result of which would have amounted to microeconomic catastrophe. My appreciation will not be complete if I fail to recognize members of the Congress who cooperate and commitment have accorded the Congress such global recognition and identity. That the Congress is existing there either to is attributed to their unrelenting support and alliance. Thank you all and God for that. Today is another Labor Day, a day for workers, and I felicitate with all the workers of Edo State, particularly because of your commitment and contributions to the efforts which we have been making to transform Edo State so that 
it can be one of the most viable subnationals in Nigeria because our vision is to make a state the best place to work and live in Nigeria. I salute the dedication and sacrifice of our workers because of your unwavering dedication and zeal. This has led to the growth and development of our dear state, particularly in the last six years, in spite of the challenges and difficulties which we have suffered as a country from the poorly managed federal government. Our workers are the unsung heroes of our society and the engine that power our economy. This is why in Edo State, we continue to prioritize your welfare. This is why we continue to embark on a series of projects and reforms to boost your morale and productivity so that we can provide the right incentives and enabling environments to deliver quality service to Edo people. I listened very carefully and I've read the speeches of both unions. I agree with most of what you have there. But you must know that eight years is not enough to change every problem, every situation that has lasted for more than 40 years. What we must insist is that we continue the way we have performed in the last eight years. If we have, we perform like that for another eight years, all what you have asked for would have been taken care of. I am proud to say that Edo workers are currently the best paid workers in Nigeria. Woo! I am so surprised and shocked that when we announced the increase of minimum wage in Edo to 40,000 Naira at this venue last year, I expected that the federal government and other states would take queue almost immediately. It has taken them one year to even make the announcement. And the promise I make to Edu workers here today is that the day the federal government is able to pay its new minimum wage, is able to hand over a check to any federal worker, that day will match the federal government. We thank God for another year. And every year we they come here to remember those who die, who die for the struggle. But since then, workers all over the world, they don't they gather like this to celebrate and to remember their own, who, who, those who, who fight for them. They fight the battle so that they can get, workers can get better life. Since then, now we they gather here. But in Nigeria, we thank God we see they gather. Some people, they remember workers. Some employers, not they remember workers. We've been in labor force for over three decades now. Uh, movement and so um, this period when we did so now history they repeat itself this day now the day when them peak workers peak for America many years ago to remember when people sacrifice their life to make workers free from the hands of their employers we make them slave treat them like slave like animals now make this day they can't fix and say and they will celebrate freedom of workers. That battle, now battle win the fight to make sure that workers no longer work for 14 hours, that they work now for only eight hours. The important of May Day, we say, we may be workers day. If they were workers, they happy. They pour their anger. They tell the management that how they fit, how they feel, how the work not going on where, how the work go on where. And it's an opportunity for the workers to pour their anger. That tell the government of the day or their management what they feel should be done in their various establishments. And again, it's a free day for workers. Uh, government and management knew that uh, they know say workers may be a day. Ah, no, today when I see what happened now, uh, it was very, very good. The workers for those state, then they're very, very happy because of what governor they do for us. You know, you hear them, where governor talks, say, and are true. Now we be the highest paid workers 
you know, uh, state uh, government workers all over the Federation. And there are so many things that this governor has done, so, so many things that this government has done. You know, the workplace environment, where would they work, is the best around, uh, areas of uh, promotion where you pay, and uh, today promotions are up to date. You know, so everything is going on well for us as workers of Edo State. Now you make us all oh, come out today, come celebrate this Workers' Day. Every time, governor and in team, they do well for us. That's why we are happy today. I feel great today. Say, God, make us see another May Day, and then this one at 2023, and then we we'll pray again, say, 2024 of us, still gather for here again, good death and long life for another May Day 2024. But I want you to use this May Day this year, they appeal to the incoming government for Nigeria when our Gatinubu they lead. Say, may it try as much as possible, may it increase government, uh, all the workers' uh, salary, especially salaries and emoluments, gratuities, and they may increase them. But for owners of media houses, we the NUJ for Edo, we they tell them, say, may they not do the one that they call casualization. May they try as much as possible. Those who are already there under their casual uh, payroll, may they employ them as full staff of the place. So ordinarily, I wish Nigeria workers well.